Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a first impressions video on the new Juvia's Place Multi-Purpose Foundation Sticks. I was so blessed enough to receive all 30 of them, so I will be swatching all 30 in this video so you guys can see what shade might be best for you. I also have it on right now, so you gotta stick around in the video to see how I feel about it. Right now, while you're watching this, drop a comment, tell me how you're feeling, what does it look like to you, are you feeling the way it looks, are you like, girl, I've seen you look better, let me know. And yeah guys, we're not going to ramble because this might be a long video, so we're just going to jump ahead into this. Before we begin, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get started with trying out these multi-shade sticks. The first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is prime my skin like I always do. I'm going to go ahead and use the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I really love this primer. You guys should know that by now. I use it all the time. It has like a tacky feeling to it, which I really like. And it also feels pretty hydrating on the skin because I'm not sure if this is going to be a really, really, really matte product on my skin so I want to have something hydrating as a base just so that way I'm not looking dry and crusty we don't want that okay so I have literally all 30 shades of the multi shade sticks in this box right here I have not even opened them I don't know what they even look like this is all 30 of them shout out to Juvia's Place for sending them to me so as I mentioned to you guys before this is a multi-purpose foundation stick so it's a foundation stick it can be used for color correcting contouring and highlighting as well you get 0.30 34 fluid ounces in it. I'm not too sure exactly how much they are going to cost. I'm definitely going to do my research before posting this video because the product is not out yet, so I won't see that information on the website. However, I will link everything down below for you guys to check out. All the information I can find, I will put it down below. So this is what the foundation stick looks like, and this is how much product you are getting. So I'm going to just do... A quick swatch of Dominicana and see if that's my shade so that's Dominicana it glided on pretty smooth like it didn't feel tough at all when I just did that little swatch so that might work I want to see I'm looking at my chart here I want to see Grenada as well this shade right here is Grenada definitely a lot more yellow than this one right here. I feel like this one is pulling pretty neutral on me. This one is pulling a lot more yellow, but I'm still not sure if that's gonna work for me. I'm also gonna try Marantania, I believe is how you pronounce it. I wanna see what this one looks like as well. We're gonna see which shade is gonna be best. Oh, that's it. Marantania, or however you pronounce it, is definitely the one for me. It's nice and golden. This one is just too neutral. This one, it's actually starting to pull a little orangey and it's also too light. Marantanium, you're the one. Okay, so now that we figured out what shade I would be, let's go ahead and apply it and see how we like this foundation stick. So I already told you guys, it's really, really creamy. I don't feel like any tugging on the skin. I'm only gonna apply, I feel like with foundation sticks, I typically get like a medium coverage. How do you guys feel? Do you feel like you get more full coverage or what? Okay, so far I'm definitely getting a more medium 
coverage, something a little bit more natural. Nowhere near as full coverage as their first foundation, um, the I Am Magic foundation, because that was like paint. I love it though. I use it all the time. I'm not complaining about it at all. I appreciate how much coverage it gave me because that's like my going out, I need to be flawless foundation. This is giving me more medium coverage. So if you prefer something a little bit more natural, you might like this one over their first foundation because I did have a like kind of dark mark right here from a pimple um, and I can still see it a little bit. I did just add a second layer and it covered it up a little bit more so this might be a buildable product but it is definitely more natural as far as the finish goes i'm getting a more natural finish it's not super matte and it's not super dewy either I'm, but i'm also kind of getting the feel that this is not going to be good for somebody with oily skin kind of feeling that right now i don't have oily skin you guys know i am more a dry combination but just like feeling the consistency of it I don't know it feels like this is gonna be like something a oily person will feel like a bucket of grease after a while I don't know I'm feeling that right now I think I want to add like one more layer I like how it looks though I really do but I think I just want like a little bit more I just want to see how this layers okay so how are we feeling let me get up close you know how we do I think it looks really nice. So it is definitely giving me a medium buildable coverage with a more natural satin finish because it's not matte. It's definitely not matte at all. You guys can already see like the the shine that it has, the glow that it has. So this might be for somebody who is not really looking for full coverage and maybe more on the normal to dry skin. Um, it could work if you have oily skin, possibly, depending on how you prep your skin and, you know, what powders that you apply, but that's just how I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start concealing and contouring. This is a multi-purpose shade stick, so they are meant to be used for highlight, contour, and all that other good stuff. So I'm going to look at my shade chart that I have here. Looking at the shade chart they have, I think Manila is going to be a good shade to highlight with. It looks nice and golden. Oh yeah, this is... This is great. It has a golden undertone, which I like. Now this is when I get a little iffy about foundation sticks as concealers because I don't really feel like they give me the coverage that I want underneath my eyes. So this is the part where I'm kind of like, let's see. Let's see what Juvia's Place is giving us. I think I really like this as a highlight shade. Ooh, this looks nice. All right, this is where it matters, right here. Okay, guys, it's giving me good coverage. I don't feel like the coverage is bad. I don't feel like it at all. Okay. I feel like it looks really good. I'm not mad at this. I am not mad at this at all. I'm going to apply a little bit more because you guys know I'm just, I'm just an insy bit extra. Just a little bit more. But I think it looks pretty pretty good if you're somebody who color corrects you can definitely color correct beforehand and then apply it and maybe you'll feel like it's giving you even better coverage y'all know I'm a lazy uh makeup person except for when it comes to my eye makeup other than that I'm hella lazy I don't be wanting to do all of that I don't even like cream contouring I'm just doing it for the sake of this video but I think if you were to color correct beforehand and then apply this you will be a-okay. But I like it by itself. I think it's covering really, really well. Okay, I know this looks weird, but with this light off, you guys can see how dewy I really, really look. I don't think this is something for somebody with oily skin. I just want to tell you guys that, like, I look hella dewy, which makes me happy. You guys know, that's my vibe. I want to look dewy. I want to look wet. I want to look, you know, you know, shining, glistening. You know what I'm saying? So if you're oily and you like to be hella matte, I don't think this is going to be the product for you. Let's go back to our shade reference and let's see what shade we should use to contour. Looking at the shade chart, I think Genna would be the best shade to contour with. Let's see. Yeah, I like this shade. It's not too dark. So we are going to cream contour with this. And you could pretty much manipulate your shade for cream contouring to, depending on what you want if you want something more dramatic more dark then obviously you would go with a darker shade so because these are super creamy and easy to blend this is actually great for cream contouring 
because I'm not having a hard time at all. So if you're somebody who cream contours, you might really, really like this. That was really, really easy to blend out. Okay, so I do notice that it is settling in under my eyes a little bit, which is pretty normal for me. Everything kind of settles underneath my eyes. I don't have fillers. I have under eye lines. Like, that's my life. Before you set your makeup with any powder, just make sure that you blend that out because if you set it while it's creased, it's going to stay creased and we don't want that. So... I'm just going to apply a little bit more because I think I want just a little bit more coverage than what it's giving me and then I'm going to set. Okay guys and I am back and honestly I'm going to leave the lighting like this. I feel like throughout the video I was pretty overexposed and it looked like my foundation didn't match but as you can see your girl is matching period. It looks good. Let's just go ahead and talk about my thoughts on the foundation sticks. I like them. I think they are really good for somebody who has a dry or normal skin. If you're oily, you might want to stay away from this because I used a lot of powder, as you guys can see in the video, and I even went over it with a pressed powder, and I'm still really, really dewy. It's not just the highlight, okay? I'm really, really dewy right now. So I would suggest to stay away from this if you're oily because you might feel like you're a grease ball afterwards. But I genuinely like it. If you're somebody who only uses super duper full coverage, this might not work for you either. I definitely feel like it gave medium buildable coverage, but not all the way full coverage like their original foundation. Like their original foundation, baby. It's like, that's like plaster. That's paint right there, okay? And I love it, but if that's your ideal foundation when it's that, like that super full coverage, then you might not like it. If you're somebody who likes something more medium, a little bit more natural, then you might absolutely love this. Since it's a stick foundation, you really have the freedom to manipulate how much coverage you get out of it. You know what I'm saying? You can apply a lot, you can apply a little bit, you can just do like three stripes, one, two, three, and have something really, really sheer. So it is definitely something that you can manipulate. As far as for highlight and contour, it's great for contour it is super blendable it's really really easy to blend out so if you're new to cream contouring you might actually like this because certain uh, products that people use to cream contour like let's say Tarte Shape Tape since it dries matte and it dries pretty fast you might have a tough time blending it out but this really gives you that that time to just manipulate it and blend it out you know as best as you can so I feel like it's great for somebody who is beginning to contour I like it for cream contouring as far as concealer goes I mean it does the trick it definitely does the trick it's not super duper full coverage but if you don't suffer from really dark under eye circles you might really like it so I would say out of a 10 I will give this an 8 I think 8 is fair, right? 8 is fair. I really, really, really like it for my skin type. I think it looks great. So if you're similar to me and you have dry skin, if you are okay with like a medium coverage, you might absolutely love this product. I think it looks phenomenal. I'm going to wear this throughout the day and see how I feel. I'm going to check in with my phone. I hope that's okay. So that's how we're going to end this video on my phone and just let you guys know how it worked throughout the day because it's a pretty warm day outside and I'm going to be doing a lot of moving around so we can see how this foundation held up. So I will be right back to let you guys know how I feel. Okay guys, so I am back and we're going to just go ahead and wrap up this video. So I've been in these foundation sticks for about ooh, 11 hours maybe. And I just want to come on here and give you guys my final thoughts. I am exhausted. I am beat down. I am tired. I am sweaty. I am greasy. Um, my eyeliner is running, if you guys can see. I look crazy, pretty much. But I do want to say that I do like the foundation sticks. However, as I was saying before, I can already tell if you are somebody that is oily, you will not like this. I actually powdered down twice, and I never do that. I never touch up my makeup, but I had to touch up about twice today because I found myself actually getting like kind of oily, which is strange because I'm dry. So I definitely feel like oily skin girls, no. This is not for you. If you're dry, you might really like this. If you like to look really dewy and luminous, then you might really enjoy this. But if you want to be matte all day, then this is probably not a product for you. However, I do really, really like the coverage. I don't know why I've been looking so washed out. Like, it does not look like that in person. I'm not too sure. I've been trying to adjust the lighting, so I'm sorry. Like, I know how y'all get. Y'all like to come for me and be like, girl, your foundation. Listen. It matches in person and that's what freaking matters. But um, I do feel like it gave me a decent coverage. So it is definitely medium coverage. I like that. Like I said, um, my makeup doesn't look too bad. There's makeup broken up all on my nose, which is regular degla. If you guys have been around and you watch my first impressions on my foundation videos, I never care about my nose because it's something that's always going to happen. But I actually don't have a lot of creasing right here. Usually I get a ton of creasing right in my small lines. I have a little bit, but nothing crazy. It hasn't broken up anywhere else. I 
think it looks pretty good. So yeah, I would give these multi-purpose uh, foundation sticks two thumbs up. I think they work amazing, but only if you're dry. So yeah, that is going to conclude my final thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!